Hello, everybody. Welcome to a completely different series on Minecraft. Woo! Uh, this is still an Azuminati Patreon server, but this one is vanilla. Woo! And it's also 1.9. Now, this is snapshots, so there's going to be a little bit of bugginess. There's going to be some weirdness, but that's okay. It's cool. It's 1.9. It just launched today. And I'm getting in on the action right away. I just logged in, but it looks like everyone's been doing a crazy amount of work already. Unfortunately, there's a lot of crowd that's, you know, across the world. So they, they get to wake up and go, hey, you know, they've got access to things before I do. So I have no clue what we're going to be doing with this series. I mean, it's 1.9, so there's a couple of you know, cool things that they've changed that would be really fun to play with. And I mean, you know, it's a vanilla server. So there's your standard stuff that you have to do with vanilla that, you know, modded kind of trivializes. And I realize, you know, in some cases it's like taking a step backwards when you change to vanilla, but eh, it, it presents itself with different challenges. So yeah i'm gonna get a little bit started i'm gonna get a little bit situated and i'll bring you guys back Alrighty. well it's been a little bit um discovered some really cool stuff with 1.9 first off look at this i'm a lefty haha <laughs> left-handed yep everything in the left hand i'm left-handed in real life so that works for me uh it's going to take some getting used to just because as long as I've been playing Minecraft, every character's right-handed. Um, anyway, so I set off from spawn. Spawn's about eh, 300 blocks or so over yonder. You can see right there in the distance my little wood hut and, and what I started. Well, I was digging this strip mine and I came across where I'm going to build my base because right down there can you see it through the water? Can you see it down there? How about now? Look at that. There's some mossy cobblestone down there. Mossy cobble. Oh, gimme. Uh, and it is a skeleton spawner. Woo! Isn't that pretty awesome? first day on the server and already found a skeleton spawner and it's relatively close to the surface um you can get about to there so a couple of blocks away from the surface of the water so that's pretty cool so what i think i'm gonna do is i started to set up this section of my base up here and I'll just have a basement where you can stand down there and, and get skeleton drops. So that'll be pretty cool. So I figure I'm going to set up a railroad to land over there. Because I don't really want to walk. Because uh, I'm lazy. Sure, we're going to do this. And I was laying this out. And I thought, well, hey. What happens... No, that's not how I did it. I did it the other way around. Uh, well, first I need to get the pickaxe and break all of those. Um, was it blocks there and that there? Yeah, because then this lays down the railroad. But what happens when it can't lay a railroad, but it can lay a block? Ha! Right click, right click, right. Hold right click. got a nice rhythm and it's laying me out a nice railroad now of course I don't have enough rail but that's okay you can see it over there <laughs> it's so close so we're gonna have to craft more rail but for that I need more iron I don't have that much uh, I also need to worry it oh, whoop or that's not very good okay that will have to do the old-fashioned way Yes, we have to worry about lighting the track. 
because we don't want any bad guys to spawn on this thing. That wouldn't be very good at all. So over here at my base, we're going to get attacked by a zombie. So let's get my shield and sword. Right ah. Ah. Destroying my crops. Bad zombies. Destroying innocent crops like that. So yeah, this is my little, you know, starter. Starter base. I've got the top of the line protection from night critters. Yep. Can't buy that on eBay. Did I? I didn't replant it. I put the seeds away because I'm a derp head. Um, yeah, not too much, getting some wheat supplies, getting some chickens, got a whole bunch of eggs, uh, I got one diamond, woohoo, one diamond, decent amount of iron left, I should theoretically be able to make enough rail to get home. I do need to power some of it. So let's make ourselves some levers. Lever levers. And yeah, that's pretty much what I'm going to be doing. Well, there we go. Track's done. I can ride it from one end to the other. Whee! <sighs> While we're here. Ah, it's under players. All right. Let's turn that down a little bit. Ding. There we go. Nice little rod. Not too much to it. Uh, really, then, the next step on the docket is to move our base of operations over here. Now, obviously, I'm not quite sure what I'm wanting to do with this. I I really don't know. Can't tell you. So, just oh no, I need my shield. Just kind of stick everything in there. And then we ride it back. Um, I am kind of thinking it'd be interesting if I were to uh, have a fairly large radius drain the water from the ocean and then actually, like, make a house down there. Like, I mean, I know there's a lot of people who sit there and, you know, they'll build at the bottom of the ocean, but that's not that deep. And, you know, I think it'd be kind of cool to sit there and go, yeah, you know, it's my sunken house or something. I don't know. Because, I mean, I like building houses. I'm good at building houses. And, you know, it just, to me, it sounds like a good idea. I mean, can you imagine it coming in on a rail like this? Possibly more elevated. Um... You know, with huge glass walls on surrounding it, and this house sitting in the middle of the ocean. I think that would be pretty cool. And that way, with the skeleton spawner, I can just kind of have it as... Uh, part of the basement of the house. Like, if the house is built on the on the gravel down there. So it's really not that far. 
So if the house is here, if this is the main floor of the house, it would mean that whenever I'm in my house, the spawner would be active. And I can, you know, route it to some back room where, you know, the skeletons are so that when the farm is on, I can just go and grind some experience. Um, yeah. Actually, I just had a thought. Because chances are other people are going to want to use it too. So maybe my nether portal, because chances are I'll have my own nether portal, because I am a little distance away from spawn. Um, my nether portal can lead to the output of the skeleton farm. Or, hmm, I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I'm thinking it'd be kind of neat to have the, the nether portal and the uh, skeleton farm killing chamber, grinding chamber, or whatever, this, the same room. But at the same time then, you know, in order to keep it decently separated from my house, where would I need to route them to, etc., etc., and would that be within range of the spawner? So, I don't know. We'll figure something out. Um, I mean, I just started playing. Th today is day one. The server went live today. I'm on it today. I don't exactly have plans. My plans still are very much based around modded Minecraft, the Zuminati server, um, you know, getting mod sauce caught up, which I'm getting pretty close. Um, you know, and, and that's kind of it. I didn't exactly have plans to start a vanilla series, but at the same time, you know what? I'm, I'm, I'm kind of excited to do an, a, a vanilla series. So maybe what I'll do is, in terms of priority of videos, we're going to go with Zuminati as the top because I'm still having a whole lot of fun there. I've got huge plans. You know, I've got um, one of my best friends joining the server as soon as Patreon processes at the beginning of next month. And, you know, that's going to be awesome. We're going to do collabs. It'll be great. Um, other than that, I've already got Mod Sauce 2. But, you know, that can kind of just be whenever. Uh, maybe this server, this vanilla 1.9 snapshot server and mod sauce 2 can kind of be interchangeable every now and then when I'm not recording a Zuminati, I'll just pick whichever one I feel like recording and, and that'll be the one I record. So hopefully that works. Hopefully people like that. Hopefully it's satisfactory. Um, progress in this world is is going to be at a different pace, I think. Um, just because vanilla does tend to take a bit to build things. I can't fly. I can't just sit there and go, well, I can breathe underwater and I can fly, so I'm just going to lay down all of this glass that I manufactured with a machine with a chunk loader. You know, away we go. No, I, I, I can't do that. There's no chunk loaders. There's no machines to auto-manufacture glass. I have to harvest all the sand myself. I have to do everything myself. So it's going to take longer to make progress here than it did on Azuminati and it did on Mod Sauce 2. And of course, everyone knows this. I'm, I'm stating the obvious right now. But just to let you guys know in case you're thinking I'm going to get super huge amounts of stuff done I'm I'm going to pre be I'm going to be prioritizing the Zuminati server and then after I'm you know after I'm done recording on there I'll I'll jump on here make a little bit of progress you know maybe record a tiny bit and you know we'll we'll see where things go um in the meantime, for today, this is probably going to be about it. I know it's not much, but it's what you got.
It's everything I'm doing. And I need to sit down and, and actually come up with plans and designs and ideas. Because while I'm excited to play on a, on vanilla 1.9 server, I don't know what I'm doing here. I don't know what I want to build. So I need to get some inspiration. I need to get some ideas. And then I'll be really excited and, and super anxious to play here and build here. I mean, I am because it's new features. And I am because it's a server with people. And people I already know from the Azuminati server. So, I'm going to say good night, good day, good whatever, whatever time of day it is when you're watching this. Ooh. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. Hopefully you guys got some, some oh, look at that, it swings my left arm. <laughs> I'm a lefty. Uh, hopefully there's some love for, for vanilla. Yeah, vanilla. Um... I like vanilla and I like modded, so, you know, no hate for either. They're both fun, they both got great stuff to offer. It's just different pacing for sure. So, let me know what you guys think. Give me any ideas for a possible base, or what do you think of my idea of, of you know, draining a good section of the ocean here and, and putting a house on the bottom? Could be pretty cool. But anyway, I'm going to go. Be sure to come back for next episode. Be sure to check out my Zuminati videos. Ooh, I actually just put another one live not too long ago. So, you should be watching it already. Bye-bye.